Hello and welcome to your July 2022 general reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. Now remember, Gemini is the sign of the twin. And at times you need or you want that acknowledgement that you do things right, if that makes sense. So sometimes your, your inner voice is not loud enough for you to be comfortable and confident. Um, unfortunately, it's the first thing the guys say. <laughs> that, sense, that doesn't mean you're not going to be confident. It just feels like, you know, um, I'm sitting here now and all of a sudden the guys sort of, you know, convey to me to explain Gemini, if that makes sense, which is weird because you are Gemini, so you should know who you are, <laughs> if that makes sense. But the point I'm getting here is, um, it's really important for you to understand this. What you therefore have to learn is to understand while you are missing your twin, which is why you probably have a best friend. So Geminis are not supposed to be the life of the party. You just, you know, have a few people that are really there for you and vice versa, right? So in any case, it is important to realize that in July we're having, we're in the sign of Cancer and the Cancer is um, governed by the Moon, and then we're going into Leo on the 23rd, which is governed by the Sun. Now the Moon and the Sun, as nice as they are, and as close as they often are together, they do not share space well. What that means, energetically speaking, is that that inner voice, should I do this now, my God, did I do that right, has issues reaching you, which is why it is so important for Geminis to understand, if everybody takes everything away from you, you will still make the right decisions because you're awesome. Why wouldn't you make the right decisions? So don't pay too much attention to wanting to be um, acknowledged by others, if that makes sense, right? So what we do here is we separate the topics slightly into um, different areas. So we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead and then look at the emotional core, see what comes in, see what can, come, uh, what can go, before we then look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July for the sign of Gemini. Now, always rush that part. Very fast. <laughs> anyway, so Geminis, um, this is your overall energy for the month of July 2022. Have I actually introduced my guest? I was just talking away. Oh, 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 dear. I'll take you off. So, sorry. So, no, I, I'm sorry. It's just a, you know, yeah. I, we were just talking about it off camera, how easy it is when you actually do these things and then uh, you, guides come in. You keep forgetting what you just said and all that kind of stuff. So I have a guest this month, Charlie Evans. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. And then maybe I should write that down. But then again, you know, you try to be like this doesn't work either. No. Right? So anyway, <laughs> um, with the flow. <laughs> so here is your overall energy for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Gemini. Uh, yeah. So your key word this month is charity. Um, so prayer and contemplation, connect with heaven, ask and you shall receive. So this is all about reaching out and getting that guidance that you need, whether that's from your guides, whether you're feeling lonely this month, whether you feel a bit lost, whether you say, please help me, please show me a sign, please provide some guidance for you, so that you feel, we're never alone, but so that you don't feel as alone as you've been feeling. Um, but also reaching out to friends. Um, it's July, it's summer, have some fun, uh, connect with those people who are really close to you, get that connection back that you will feel a loss at anyway but make sure that you try and build that again um but yeah just yeah express the kindness and the compassion you have for others and they'll come to you because they're drawn to your lovely energy thank you very much and as you can tell this actually goes hand in hand with why the guides open this up explaining gemini and having this part of it that feels lost a lot if that makes sense now when it comes to your emotional core you have what is called a vision quest and the vision quest is, is is really simple and they're not so simple the the simple thing is that it is not super difficult to do the difficult thing is that it is hard to actually find a beginning what they're asking you is to literally just seek sounds a bit weird seek signs see what what the problem that that, that we're having energetically here with gemini is that sometimes because your your twin is sort of missing you sometimes struggle with finding your purpose and what the universe often is saying doing good is your purpose if that makes sense you don't have to have a major purpose and also if you knew what your purpose is would you still look at other things so 
because you have the vision quest, and there's an interesting thing here, because look at the depiction of the card. This is actually the Shamanic Medicine deck um, by Flavia Kate Peterson and her friend Barbara Michael John Free. Um, having had it for long, but the point is when I when that card came, if that makes sense, I felt longing just seeing this beautiful lady here looking into uh, the distance. So, so again, in a daily speaking, this seems to be a month for Gemini where you do long for guidance. But what the guides are saying is seek rather than ask people to guide you, if that makes sense. So there is a bit of a discrepancy between between what the guide said with the overall energy. So in other words, yes, by all means, you know, find like-minded people, but understand that growth is oftentimes inner growth. And when you find your, your little pathways on your own, you will feel much more empowered, especially because there's a part of you that is looking for that inner voice that tells you where to go, right? So while this all sounds very traumatic, energetically speaking, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It does not feel like this is going to be a really difficult month for Gemini at all. It doesn't feel that way. But this is a month where, because we're going from, from the moon to the sun, if that makes sense, where you may find it difficult to decide what to do next and Logical or wisdom, logical wisdom is if you don't know where to go, go slower and then just figure it out as you go along, right? You don't have to do, you don't have to make major decisions. And if you feel there are major decisions coming, and this is already in the energy here, it would be pointless to make major decisions when you feel like I'm not sure where I'm going. So allow yourself the time you need um, for whatever reason. Um, before you then kind of go like, yeah, now I'm feeling a bit more at ease with myself because that is the energy for Gemini is that you're not necessarily at ease with yourself for the majority of the months, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be totally all over the place. It just means that there's a part of you that isn't a bit, is a bit un uncertain about things, right? And a lot of people have that. So now we're looking at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of July 2022 for the sign of Gemini. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share. And I mean it. Please share. A lot of people say like, oh, I hardly know any Gemini, so I don't share it. It doesn't matter if it affects, affected you. If you can take this, who knows who needs to hear that message. So please share it, even if it is for Geminis you don't know, right? So here is the opportunities, or here are the opportunities for the month of July 2022 for the sign of Gemini. Well, uh, Thomas has talked about you being in limbo, about having different decisions to make. So that goes in well with your opportunity for the month because it's the mountain goat. Um, so this is a card all about, you're on a ridge, you don't know whether to go up, you don't know whether to go down, but you're quite secure where you are. So just make sure that you're focusing on where you need to invest your your money. So re whether that's um, whether you need to take a step back and not spend so much or whether you climb up the mountain and it works really well for you. Uh, this is all about your reflection and making the choice. But the mountain goat is cautious. It would never put itself in danger. So just know that you're secure. Just know that you've got to make um, a decision about your money. Uh, so just have a look at what's going to work best for you right now within your situation and work out what's the best path. It's going to be a bit rocky, but you'll either get to the top or get safely on the ground. Okay. Thank you very much. And again, I cannot remember whether I, I introduced you in the yes. beginning, did I? Yes, we, right. <laughs> we've done that. Before. Okay, <laughs> this is what happens when you record stuff okay. all over the place. Anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe uh, uh, and share so we can see each other again next month. Bye.